Full count, three and two on Mercer. The wind by Tomlin and the payoff pitch hit on the ground out towards short. Diving try by Echeverria. Comes up with it, gets up, and throws him out. What a spectacular play. Adani Echeverria fully stretched out, chest on the dirt, made a great stop, and then up to his feet in a flash. And a right field. Xander cutting across, can't get there. That's going to score two. One man across. Here's Perez scoring. Perez Arena winds up at third, and just like that, the Rays are right back. So the Rays, with these two runs, grab the lead, and that's going to be it for Lane. Well, it's been that kind of day. You know, Randy is a guy who is not listing a lot of prospects lists, but I think when the Rays got him in that trade with Jose Martinez, they really have high expectations for him this year and really going forward. They think he can really be an impactful piece in the outfit. Kind of like what they did last year with Willie Calhoun. As Garcia rips one to left, if that stays up, it's out of here, and it does. Into the Mariners' bullpen, it pinballs around, and Adolis Garcia with a line drive home run to left field and the rangers take a five to two lead uh this guy uh, is known for hitting the long ball last year with triple a memphis 32 home runs the previous year with the redbirds he had 22 home runs and that one got out of here in a hurry comes set brings the pitch solaire swings and hits it a mile high and very deep to center field back to the wall and gone Home run number two this spring for Jorge Soler, and both of them have been well over 400 feet. Royals lead for the first time today, four to three. Here's Estevez. Estevez hits his ball high and deep to left. Way back, way back, and gone. The second home run of the inning, and the Dodgers lead 2-0. That was a skyscraper from Omar. Very nice swing, loads up the back side, gets the head out. And this is a high arcing fly ball that gets into the bullpen. 3-1 and Tomas drives one in the air out to deep right field. Moving back Canario looking up and that ball is out of here. That ball got out of here in a hurry. Osmani Tomas uh, he's got a with a home power. run. Back to back here for the D-backs in the eighth. Three one pitch is ripped to left field going back on it Martinez he turns and looks and that's gone. Did I say I like this guy. Yeah you mentioned it. That's a solo home run for Jose Garcia. It's his first home run of the spring and that gets the Reds on the board. It's now six one Angels. Boy, that you talked about it earlier in the game when Taylor Ward hit his home run. You just don't expect the ball to leave today just because the way the wind's blowing. But if you hit a low line drive like that and you hit it hard enough, it can cut through the teeth of the wind. And that's exactly what Garcia's ball did. Second hit of the day for the Reds, and they're now on the board. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. There and is. this is belted left field and deep. Looking up Martinez, and it is gone. Garcia has gone deep for the second time today. He threw that one out. Folks, we talked about this earlier, about the wind blowing in at quite a pace. And yet we've seen this kid, 21-year-old Jose Garcia, he hit two tape measure shots out of left field way back in the berm. That one was not the low line drive that he hit before. I mean, that one had a little more arc to it. I mean, he smashed it out of here to left. That belted in the right center to the wall on a few bounces. Ran Robert, who can really run. He wants three. Here comes the relay, the throw, and it bounces away all the way to the third base dugout. It's a triple for Luis Robert, and that's why they love him. The uh, guy can play. I'm telling you, he's a he's a thing to watch. He can he can run. He's a big guy, but he can run very well. That rush, that ball sounded. 
great, didn't it? It just had that ring off the bat, got out there in a hurry, and the White Sox in business here. Luis Robert, his first spring hit, he's now one for four, and he drills a triple to right field. Here's the one-two to McCann, and that'll get a run in on the ground to short, and the throw over to Jacob Gonzalez is in time. On the play, Robert scores. It's an RBI ground out for McCann, who does his job knocking the run in. And the Giants' lead is sliced to 3-2. to two, And with one out, Larry Garcia comes up. And that's cracked to deep left field. Back goes Smith, and it's over his head and bouncing up against the wall. Brantley to third. He's going to be waved around. The relay throw by Rosario to the plate is cut off. It's an RBI double for Elenis Diaz. And so two hard hit balls against Edwin Diaz, and it's one nothing Houston. Now that's a fastball. Yeah, it is. Down and in. No chance for Dominic there. That ball was squared up. And the Angels uh, facing a young man who is celebrating his 21st birthday today, Adrian Morajon from Cuba. Again, the 3 2 pitch, and that one caught the outside corner. Rendon. Yes, he did. He thought he might have had a walk. Called out on strikes. That's the outer half against righties and in on lefties. 1 2 delivery, and that was a high one. Otani went after it, got him swinging, struck him out, and that's how the inning will end. These guys just aren't throwing strikes. The 1 0. That one is driven deep to left. If it's fair, it is gone. It is fair. A three-run home run for Andy Ibanez. And the Rangers add to their lead. It's now 11-1. to one. 